What's up guys, I'm Buff here, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now as you guys read the title, the last Android customization video did pretty well. So I thought why not make an overhauled video about how I customize my phone uh, in 2020 using a couple of apps that I really think are fresh and new and you guys should try them out if you haven't already. Now with that being said, if this video interests you, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, before we start, wanted to give a huge shout out to the guys over at My Screeny, which is an amazing place and a community where you can upload your Android home screens as well as iOS home screens, find other people who have uploaded similar home screens, uh, find download links to the preset files as well as, you know, follow uh, artists and people who do this on a regular basis. We'll talk more about it at the end of this video, but with that said, let's get started with the applications in today's video. Alright guys, starting up, we've got a wallpaper application called CRISPR and if you haven't seen the previous Android app video where I demonstrated this well you're in luck because chances are you haven't tried this because I tried it for the first time when I installed it for the last video however this is a wallpaper application where there's a healthy balance of AMOLED wallpapers as well as actual pictures that are photographs and you have taken them and other people have taken them you know to upload on websites such as this you can find a wide plethora of different types of wallpapers and I'm sure all of them will look super super good on your home screen so definitely be sure to check it out all right guys Next up, we've got minimalist wallpapers and if minimalism is the game for you, just like it is for me, chances are you wouldn't be really interested in flashy overkill pictures from film sets as your wallpapers. No, instead you'd look for material islands and stuff that has been created in Photoshop, which you know usually classifies as art pieces online these days. So this wallpaper application has it all, different types of minimal wallpapers that are artworks and you can download them, directly set them and once again it's a free application so definitely check check it out. Alright guys, the last wallpaper app here on today's video is called AMOLED Walls and in case you guys were wondering where the wallpaper that is shown in the thumbnail of this video comes from, this is the application. If you're looking for super minimal wallpapers, not uh, you know a lot of negative space in your photos which not a lot of people like but if you are a particular enthusiast where you like just random pieces of artwork on your home screen and complement them with super widgets as well as custom widgets or anything that you're using, then this is going to be the wallpaper app of choice. I've been using it for a very long time and I know for a fact that all of the wallpapers here are super high resolution and they look super super good on any phone display. So definitely check it out, link will be in the description below. Alright guys, moving on, let's talk about this really cool widget that I have on my home screen. Well, you guys guessed it right, this is a custom widget skin pack known as Trendy for KWGT. And for those of you that don't know, yes, you will need another application called Custom Widget to be able to use these packs. And in order to use third party packs, you will need the pro version. So you might have to purchase it from the Play Store that will be linked below. However, for the price that this is available for and the quality of widgets that you get for a lifetime, and most of the packs are free in case you are wondering. This serves up as a really good one-time purchase to make your home screen look absolutely gorgeous every single time you unlock it. There are so many options, the collection is ever so growing and you know the kind of things that you can do even with a widget that you create yourself are absolutely endless. So if you're trying to spice and up your home screen, download Trendy for KWGT along with KWGT Pro and your phone should look absolutely great. Alright, last but definitely not the least, let's talk about the different icon packs or more specifically the icon pack that I'm using in this particular setup. So this is called Afterglow Icon Pack and it's the free version that I have installed on my phone right now. You can install it directly from the link in the description below and the best part that I like about this icon pack is how super minimal and bright it makes all of the icons look. So if you have a black background more specifically with an AMOLED screen, it's very important for you to make the other icons uh, and use icon packs to you know brighten up your screen and add little dots of color. And I think Afterglow does a really good job at it by also adding a sort of glowy outline to each of the icons so that you can catch it, uh, you know, without, uh, you know, looking at it for a very long time. It's super cool, it's super minimal, and once again, it's free, so definitely check it out. Alright guys, now that 
bit done with all the apps that I wanted to showcase in this video, I'd like to give a minute to the guys over at MyScreeny who have also sponsored today's episode. Now, MyScreeny is an amazing website in case you guys are Android customization enthusiasts or even iPhone customization enthusiasts. You can find, uh, you know, a plethora of different types of home screen setups and also links to download them. There are also, uh, you know, the top users who have uploaded the most over here and you can check them out to personally check out someone's design or work and the best part about this is that it's a community you can also upload your own and that you know it's an ever-growing community so you'll never run out of cool home screens to check out so if you're an android customization freak like i am be sure to check out the guys over at my screeny it will be the first link in the description below and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys did enjoy any of the applications and you like the current home screen setup let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other suggestions of other applications that you would like to see featured in other videos let those on the comments as well until then this is Anubhav signing out I will catch you guys next time you guys have a great day peace out